Hi, I'm Barbara, and welcome to this week's version of Craft Corner. I have been reading about Paul Bunyan and his friend, Babe the Blue Ox, so I thought it would be really neat if this week we make our own Babe the Blue Ox. For this and for any other episode of Craft Corner that you see, if you are a Summitville patron, come up here and we'll give you a kit that has all the stuff that you need to make this. Uh, except for like your crayons and your glue and things like that. But you've got the basics if you get our kit. Uh, if you are a North Madison County Public Library patron and you're at Elwood or Franklin, you can call them and see if they can supply you with the things you need. So let's get ready to make a Babe the Blue Ox. First of all, your supplies you're going to need the pattern, you're going to need a cardboard tube, either pen colored pencil, markers, various shades of blue, maybe crayons. You need a glue stick and some scissors. First of all, you're going to color your pattern with all different colors of blue. Then you want to cut all of these individual things out. And I usually protect my table with a piece of paper. So we're going to start with the body of Babe and your glue stick. And you just put a little bit of glue on the end. Lay your tube down and roll it tight. Then put a little glue on the other end and keep rolling and you'll end up with the body of Babe the Blue Ox. Next you're going to put the head on and usually I put the head on nose, cover the, the nose in this. So um, a little bit of glue at nose level and glue it to the front of Babe. Then you're ready for a seat. Now Babe has left and right feet, so make sure you get the right ones in the right place. And first we're going to do his back feet. And you put a little glue at the back of each one. We're going to make him kind of sit down. So you put his little haunches over to the side on each side. And then you want to put his front feet on, which he, if he was a person, it would be his arms. So glue his arms the same way. So you end up with four of them. And then put a little glue on each of his hooves and touch those to his body so that he is sitting. That's a funny way for an ox to sit, isn't it? Don't get discouraged if he pops, the legs keep popping off, but if you stick with it and push down with your fingers, they should end up staying. So the last thing we have is his tail. And they fixed it so that you can have a blue tail on both sides. Just put a little bit of glue on one side of the tail and fold it so that it's together and you have a tail that's blue on both sides. Then a little bit of glue at the back of this one and stick his tail on back here where his tail goes. And there you have Babe the Blue Ox. 
you guys have a great week and see you next week at Craft Corner.